You can argue that the offensive line had its best game yesterday. And they had Ryan Harris at left tackle and Michael Schofield at right tackle. When Sambrello is healthy, what are they going to do? They're going to put him back at left tackle, or are they going to stick with what worked yesterday? Yeah, I mean, they, they hinting that Ty would get his job back. Uh, that when they evaluated the field, they were pleased with how Harris and Schofield held up. You know, neither played great, but they both held their own, and certainly the team finally ran the ball better. Whether it was on one play or not, you know, the bulk of the yard, the reality is that one play opened because of their commitment to the run earlier. So as of now, they're saying, you know, and saying the types of things that Ty would have his job back. But I, to your point, Les, as we've criticized other offensive linemen, Ty Sambrello has, has done his best as a rookie. But he hasn't graded out well. I mean, everything is done is graded kind of with this caveat. He's a rookie left tackle. So if you decide that Schofield can do what Harris was doing on the right side and Harris is better than Ty, then maybe it becomes a discussion. But Ty, while he was surviving and battling and competing, I mean, he wasn't grading out particularly well. Uh, so it is an interesting discussion. I would think that he would need to be completely healthy to get his job back because if he's compromised, he'd be better off giving this line one more week. Something we talked about in the press box yesterday, uh, and Gary Kubiak said afterward they'd practice that play twice where uh, Owen Daniels lines up on the right side, goes right behind the line of scrimmage and, and is wide open. He's lost. He is lost in the in the shuffle. And, and uh, it's not an easy throw because both Owen and, and Peyton said that's the toughest when a guy's wide open and it's a short kind of touch pass like that. But... Uh, would John Fox have gone for it on fourth and one at the goal line? Does this show us something about Gary Kubiak that maybe he's not as conservative as I think he will be, that he is going to take more chances like that during the course of the season? I think he, he takes calculated risks, Woody, and you identified it. The reason they wanted to go for it there wasn't just, oh, yeah, in my gut I felt like to go. It was because, as you mentioned, they had practiced a specific play and he's Mike Shanahan in that way that they had it in the script, in the playbook, and he told his coaches and players during the week, Owen Daniels told me this, they said, if we get in this situation, we're using this play. So it gives the players confidence that that's what he's going to do. And with uh, Coach Kubiak, there's no reservation of, should I go and look at the numbers? He had already made up his mind that he was going to go. So I think it's calculated risk. What he, it isn't you know Rex Ryan playing by the cuff or the old uh, you know Western guy just – Doing the, having fun, the swashbuckler, that's not what, what happened yesterday. What happened yesterday was it, it fell kind of into their risk area that he was prepared with a specific play. So does it mean they're going to go a fourth and one all the time? I don't think so. But that's what I love about Kubiak, though. He Like any manager, you prepared. You're, there's a paranoia that prepares you for five, six, seven things that likely will never happen in a game. But when they do, you have something for it. And yesterday they had to play to Daniel. Troy Rink, beat writer for the Denver Post, one of the best in the country.